Hey yo, what's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Kanan 500. We back with another epic one. This is Feed the Streets TV. And on this episode, we're talking five year foreign, Puff Daddy, Mace, contracts. Let's see what niggas went wrong at. In my opinion, I think Fabio Foreign was thirsty for money at that time. You know what I'm saying? $5,000, whatever the case may be. I'm not even jacking that because I, I watched a million dollars worth of game yesterday and all that shit. And I heard Mace. Mace had receipts and it was crazy. Fabio Foreign really got $750,000 from, um, I think, Columbia Records. The dude from Columbia Records came up there and cleared that whole shit up. Fabio Farm was saying Mace was nowhere with him, fucking with him, holding him down. But then you got recordings of Fabio Farm talking about Mace changed his life and all this and all that. Let's talk about this. I feel like Mace would never do to another artist what he got done to him by Diddy. Let's get to that. Because at the end of the day, Diddy raped that boy. Diddy raped him, took all his money, wasn't paying on what he was worth, none of that shit. At the end of the day, Fabio Foreign fucked up somewhere down the line, and we don't know why he really don't like Mace. It's something bigger than that contract. Mace did a little something that was a little shaky when they bought up the Masters in Fabio Foreign. I think Mace still own Fabio Foreign Masters. He ain't want to talk about that, so he might be a little greasy on that. We don't know. I ain't going to jump out the window. At the end of the day, Fabio Foreign signed the contract. What person in their right mind would sign a $5,000 contract? That's number one. I see up front, he probably gave him a little advance money. He had 5000 little advance, go run around, buy some jewelry or whatever, whatever, whatever. But when motherfucking uh, Mace took Fabio Foreign up in that exec office, and it was, it was like a bidding war, nigga said it. Nigga, he got $750,000. And Mace, and Mace got like eight hundred, dollars I think, because he said Fabio owed him $50,000. At the end of the day, they split it that shit 50-50. 50-50. Now all of a sudden, Fabio Foreign is crying over spilled milk that he spilled. Let's get to that. And at the end of the day, y'all new rappers that's coming up, stop being thirsty for money because you should already know your worth. Come on, my nigga, you mace. He down, we was down with Bad Boy, was with Diddy. At the end of the day, you should already know that he's seen your worth. And you knew your money was going to get higher anyway, like it is right now. And you feel like he's trying to get a piece of the pie. Maybe he is, maybe he, he not. I don't know. The truth going to come out eventually. As far as what I've seen, I feel like he helped you out. And you just fucked up somewhere down the line. Let's get to that. We're we, 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 we going to get to this. Mace got raped his whole career. When he was running around right now screaming, he the new Diddy 2.0. Nah, he's saying that because he fucking with... The, the critics that were saying that to him. Nigga, Mace had receipts five year form. Let's get to that. Let's get to that. Where your response at? Stop signing these bullshit contracts. And you won't be in this predicament anyway. But at the end of the day, like I said before, Mace showed and proof. He had receipts. So five year form, get right, my nigga. Get right. 050 movement. Gang.